did the craziest thing. I traveled all the way to England just to attend the National Shire Horse Show. It's the largest gathering of Shire Horses on the planet and it was one of my favorite things that I've ever done. This is episode 11, The Grand Parade. It's the final episode of day one and what a day it was. Just when I thought it couldn't get any better, I witnessed the Grand Parade, which is when all the horses that have competed in any event all assemble in the main arena for one last hurrah, as well as present the biggest awards of the day for the best of the best shires. It was about a half hour's worth of setup in the warm-up arena, getting so many horses and handlers and carriages ready until they finally started to march in one by one. I was speechless. It was so awesome to watch. It was hard to guess, judging from each event, just how many Shires were in attendance until this final class. They just kept filing out one after another. Every one of my favorite Shires I'd met during the day were all back in their complete amazingness. It was such a spectacle to see so many huge, incredible ho horses all shoulder to shoulder. And what made it even crazier, they were all stallions. Day one is for the boys, and it was really impressive how well-mannered they all were, considering all the potential egos and posturing and posing uh, in such a cramped small space. It was such a great way to end the day of one of my favorite days ever. It was mesmerizing. So now sit back and enjoy episode 11 of the National Shire Horse Show, The Grand Parade. Please like and sus subscribe. <laughs> it's much appreciated. Yeah. <laughs> 
from the back of the front. There we go. Right. Hot sex, Amy. Tell us hot sex. So the senior stands are in. 17 and 18, those from the hardest classes. All that's hard work from the hardest classes. Have we got anybody from the novice ridden class? Class one, novice ridden. Class three, the concord. Concord class. presented by Mirko Scalaro and Manafarm more than lucky Tommy for the highest place stallion in the Concord Elegance and it went to 385 Walton Express owned by Mr N Andrews and ridden by Caroline Eagle so there we go congratulations to them well done Caroline well we saw her earlier doing the in hand so obviously she's uh, done the ridden as well so uh, that class so very kindly supported by Deborah Viljon from Windsor in Berkshire. So well done carrying uh, some of the displays when the Shire Horse Society have been uh, part of the attractions at the BBC Country File live show, both uh, at uh, Blenheim Palace and also uh, up at Castle Howard. So well done to them. What a superb trophy as well. So congratulations, Caroline, with the Walton Express. And as I said, a fantastic trophy that. The War Horses Trophy. <laughs> Mr. Brewster. Yeah, you know. Very well. Good enough. 
You're definitely at um, Aberdeen this October. I'll catch up with you properly then. And the presentation now. And so the uh, champion gelding, champion gelding going to Walton Bomber, owned by Wendy Tumahalo, and shown for us today by Ron Brewster. There we go, congratulations. Oh, right, I'll go get you. know what you do. There we go, congratulations. Stallion's next, John. Stallion's next. Right. And the uh, overall stallion championship in America. Cobra Carcal for Brian Lanham and shown today by Joe Lanham. Our reserve champions there as well, so uh, congratulations to uh, East Coast Celsius and Lucy Blakey. Anything else, sir? Anything else? No me. There's some masons. The best dressed groom award. So they went to the groom on the K. The groom, it's the groom it goes to. The tank is empty. The best dressed groom award. So well done, Sam, Sam the man there, Sam Manders, winning an empty uh, tankard. You're going to fill it up very, very soon. <laughs> see Richard, see Richard to wait. He'll fill up his tankard. Well done, thank you, thank, thank you, John, for making that presentation. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Great, great lineup. So much time taken in the preparation of these gentle giants and it's so good to see them, especially some of the young stock as well, these yearlings and two-year-olds. First time out for some of them.
Come on, Caroline.